consistent does a person have to be with intermittent fasting as far as their scheduling is concerned? Do they have to do it every single day, or can you do it certain period of days and then switch and rotate? Fasting is something we've been doing since we're born. We eat during the day, we go to sleep at night, and we have a fast. And that's a great question. How long does it take for your body to change or to reduce insulin and inflammation in that fast? And, and everybody can be different. A really conditioned athlete can get into a fed state very a, a fasted state very quickly. And we disrupt fat, we disrupt that fat fasting state with food. Anything we ingest will stimulate a rise in blood sugar, glucose, and uh, as well as insulin. And insulin's job is to help us metabolize glucose. Mm. That's our main fuel. Without insulin, we don't metabolize glucose. Glucose can continue to rise, but the body looks for another fuel source, and generally it's fat. Mm -hmm. And that's why the, the trend in, in this intermittent fasting uh, really helps people see, oh my gosh, I'm really reducing inches, I'm reducing my body fat. But it can take some hours. I. From what I see, I think you need to fast at least 18 hours in the course of a day. And if you do it systematically, three days, four days in, maybe a day off, you start to develop a pattern and you observe. Mm -hmm. There is no equation for it. I don't care what science says, everybody's different mm -hmm. because we all eat differently. Mm -hmm. And sometimes people aren't truthful about what they eat. Mm -hmm. But we all eat differently, we all digest differently, we all have different gut motility issues. And that's a big thing in, about, in, in that getting into that fasted state. Uh, really conditioned athletes generally can do it very well because their mm -hmm. insulin levels are generally low to begin with. Mm -hmm. Someone with type 2 diabetes or insulin resistance, uh, more body fat per, per, percent, you're probably going to be in a higher insulin state or you need more insulin to metabolize mm -hmm. glucose. Okay. And that's my theory. Okay. And I believe if, if you start to practice and you start to see what works, mm -hmm. you get an idea. Well, I know I need to fast 16 hours to feel mm -hmm. this, that, or the other. Okay. So I think everybody's different. Mm -hmm. um, shift work is crazy because there's never a norm. There's never a, I know people that sleep two hours a day. I don't know how they function like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's not good. It's yeah. not good. Bus drivers, mm -hmm. they have the worst schedule. Yeah. Our SEPTA bus drivers, they they drive, they have such a long break, their diets are terrible. Mm -hmm. No offense out there, but I love my SEPTA bus mm -hmm. drivers. It's a hard job. It's a really hard job on the body. And most uh, people that do this type of shift work tend to gain body fat. Yeah. And it's mostly because of what the foods mm -hmm. we eat too. Mm -hmm. So you really have to put it all together. Mm -hmm. What foods am I eating? Uh, um, that's important. I, am, am I being prepared for my day? Mm -hmm. If I'm working shift, do I bring foods with me? Mm -hmm. Or am I ordering out mm -hmm. via some mechanism like yeah. a delivery service? Mm -hmm. it's, it's challenging. Yeah. Shift work is very challenging. And, right. and what about people that are in jobs such as bus drivers or, or office work where they're sitting in a chair all day? How do you, how do you get them to motivate? To it's, it can be challenging because I know I know a couple of bus drivers personally, and their workout might consist of just something they do in between their driving. Mm -hmm. uh, they drive for a certain amount of hours, and they have a break, and then they drive again. It's a it's a it's a very mm -hmm. interesting shift. Office workers, you're right. It, it it's not a physical job. Uh, if you have a physical job, uh, that can contribute to some, you know, physical work. But um, you just have to have a plan. Mm -hmm. um, you don't have to run the marathon in the course of a day, but mm -hmm. having a plan that after my work, I'm going to the gym, I'm going to spend 20 minutes, and I'm out. Mm -hmm. Nobody needs to be in the gym more than an hour. That's mm -hmm. at that level, at the beginning level. That's mm -hmm. way too advanced. Yeah. And I don't think it creates motivation. I think it, mm -hmm. it actually helps people feel like they're not doing enough. Why should I do it? Mm -hmm. And they get uh, discouraged. Okay. I think if you create small goals, achieve achieving small goals builds a better outlook for the future. Okay. Alright, cool. Open your eyes. Why don't you see? There's a world out there waiting to see you. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Open your eyes.
tus ojos Porque no ves Que hay un mundo ahí Esperando por ti Abre tus ojos Abre tus ojos Abre tus ojos 